Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. It's time to break it down with Perrin Johnson. The Tennessee Volunteers come into Rupp Arena tonight, and we're going to talk about the matchups, what the Cats need to do and who they need to do it against. And Perrin, let's start with uh, John Fulkerson. He's their leading rebounder, although his numbers aren't through the roof or anything. No, he's and he's not a really tall guy. He's only six foot nine, so he's not bigger than Nick Richards, which is more than likely who's going to be guarding him. He's six foot nine, but he's an energy guy. He's a guy that rebounds well outside of space. He will run down and get a rebound. However, he's a guy that's coming off a big game. Against Florida, they had a big win, mm -hmm. and he had 22 points. So, you know, when you have a game like that against somebody, you know you're going to be ready to play the next game. And Kentucky's a big game for Tennessee. I don't care what their record is. Yes. That they have a big – this is a big game for Tennessee, and they played them tough down in Knoxville. So they're going to try to bounce back, and it's hard to beat somebody twice. He's probably going to have a good game. Jordan Bowden, he's a senior from Knoxville, so you know he wants this win as bad as anybody after kind of the season that they've had. They're going to kind of run through him, I would imagine. No, absolutely. Tennessee last year, they had guy, they lost 58, 58 points of their scoring. So he's a guy that's coming in this year as a senior that wants to prove that he can score the basketball. So for him, he's a guy that's dangerous because he doesn't average a ton of points. He averages right around 13. But he's a guy that believes he's a scorer. He believes he's the man. And a guy from Knoxville in senior night is probably not senior night for him, but last time to ever play against Rupp in Rupp Arena, he's a guy that's going to want to go out and go out with a bang. So look for him to shoot a lot of shots. And guys like that are dangerous because they believe that they can really be a 20-point scorer tonight in a game like this. And, and someone always is, I feel like. There's always someone. Okay, my, our favorite name on the Tennessee roster is Eve Pons. Eve Pons. Parlez-vous français? Eve is oh, French. Oui, mais oui. Oui, 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 oui. We like Eve's. He's a glue guy. He's not a guy that's going to give you a lot of things, but he's athletic and he's very strong. He's six foot six, 215 pounds. He's a guy that he's not going to come out and beat you with anything special, but he can score. He's an athlete. And pick and rolls when he's guarding guys, he'll probably guard E.J. Montgomery tonight. He will switch in the pick and roll because they can do that with him because of his size and his mobility. So he's a guy that's going to do a little bit of everything, but nothing fancy. He's not going to beat you. He's not going to score 20 points tonight. All those stranger things have happened. I don't believe he'll score 20 points tonight. So he'll be okay. Nothing and special. And maybe your favorite player on the team is Santiago Vescovi. Yes, I love this kid. Yeah. He's from Uruguay. Uh, they lost a Turner kid this year, obviously, so he had to step in, and he started every game since he's been there since the semester break. He's a guy that is fearless. And he's a kid that's not from America. So, he, and being a guy that comes not from America, and you're thrust into the lineup, you have no, you don't care what you're doing because you're going to be playing anyway. He shoots a high percentage from the three-point line. He's great in the pick and roll. He can get to the paint. And the crazy thing about him, he's either shooting a three or he's getting all the way to the cup. He's not a guy with a mid-range game, so he's not afraid to go in there with the trees and try to finish over top. And he, a guy like that will get fouled a lot as well. How dangerous is a, a player that you you say he's fearless, especially in a game like this tonight where? Really, Kentucky's already locked up the SEC title, so they yes. are not playing for their lives, right? Although they could get a two seed mm -hmm. um, if they win out. You know, that's still a possibility. Tennessee's not fighting for much other than momentum going into the tournament. A fearless guy can be really dangerous. Because he doesn't understand the circumstances of his situation. He's a freshman. They needed him. They don't have another guy they can go to on the bench. So he's not worried about making a mistake. And a lot of the turnovers that he has, even though he has a positive assist to turnover ratio, is because he's trying to put the ball in places because he believes he can get it there. And that's a guy that's dangerous because he believes he can make a play, even though a play might not be there. Because if it, it's like Brett Favre. Brett Favre threw up balls in little <laughs> windows, and they got there. And a lot of times they didn't get there, but he believes he can put the ball in those places. All right, finally, Triple J. Yes, this kid right here. His mom <laughs> and dad must really like the letter J yeah. in the alphabet. <laughs> he's a kid that shoots the ball at a high clip. And he can score, he can put it on the deck, he has a nice mid-range game as well. But the thing about him is why he's not somebody to worry about, he's not really aggressive. He plays like a freshman. He's a guy that when he's open, he will shoot the ball. He's a guy that will make a play for others. He has a high assist to turnover ratio, uh, turnover ratio. He won't throw the ball away. He has more assist than turnovers. He's a guy that you, you can trust him because he's not going to play outside of himself. However, he's not going to beat you. But you have to get to him as a shooter on defense because he's a guy that can knock down shots. Real quick, last year Tennessee had such an identity. They were so tough and so physical and had so much experience. All that is gone. They've struggled for an identity this year. What do you make of this team? What is their identity if they have one? I mean, they're going to be scrappy. They're not really big. They're going to knock down shots and they're going to take shots. But they, they're going to they're going to play outside of themselves a little bit because they have to with order to stay in the game. And coming off a game against Florida, I know Florida's not the best team in the world. Florida has guys that can play. Yeah. Kentucky knows that. They play Kentucky tough at home the last time they just played them. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, these guys are going to come out here and compete. They're not afraid to compete. And they know they're not the best team in the world, but they are not afraid to compete. All right. Thank you, Perrin. Much more at Kentucky right after this.